I'll agree with you. Uh, I'm originally from like the Seattle area, so yeah. also it's on both coasts. I spent a lot of time in California. I was just there two weeks ago. Ka Seattle? Yeah, it was it's wonderful. It's gorgeous, and you got some good weather, I think. It was pretty nice then. Yeah, and then I went up to Alaska for a cruise. I go there next week, but getting into this, we're getting booty versus Chan numbers, and it's hilarious how common of a matchup this character matchup is in New York City. Oh my god, you die, I think. I think that um, if that was Tornado, he dies. Yes. Oh, um, but Beauty not always, not super active right now, and you know plays a lot of characters, so not always has the exact confirms down. Knows the basics, will hit his lab, his bridges, but might not always be killing on them. And honestly, a really good start here. Yeah. Hundred percent unanswered. I think Meta Knight's a great character to choose to be able to challenge Wee Fish. She likes to stay off the stage. Meta Knight can hang. She can yeah. hang with her. One of the best edge guardos in the game. Right, Absolutely. goes out there with his like six jumps and shuttle loop and tornado, which covers like nine miles of yeah. territory. It's just you know running through eight states at once. Yeah. And like, oh my oh. God, that is a real mistake. Mistake. Uh, John being somebody who plays off state. <laughs> <laughs> just the raw F smash to, to, you know, fire back, and we love that. And it, it just works. It just works. Honestly, why do you don't need to do any answering of the 100% if you just kill them at 50? Yeah, she got her deep breathing in, and she said, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to deep shoot this off right now. It's so good. It's it's just, you know, you want to turn into Ganondorf for 14 seconds? You got it. <laughs> you want to turn into Ganondorf and heal yourself. <laughs> like, in case you just didn't think you did enough, you also get cloud limit stuff. It's like, oh, it's so good. I would love to see them uh, buff the healing in the next Smash game. You know, that 0.5% just doesn't ever feel like enough. I thought it was 2%. It might be, but it's still 2%, you know? Oh, you, you think I want John as more percent? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe I take that back. <laughs> but Booty's still with a really sizable lead. If you yeah. can just, you know, not do anything too crazy like that, uh, I think it was a dimensional cape that he did last time that got him killed. If he can not do one of those, he can keep, maybe get a lot off of this. This might actually be it. No? Maybe? Booty's cool. doing an incredible job of, of not allowing John to establish any kind of momentum without just getting right in and her killing face John. and just taking her out. Um, so that is, so something we saw there that was really good is the reason that first one didn't kill was John's SDI yeah. was impeccable. If we get that, we're not going to get the stock, but so right before what we just saw there, if you go back and you watch it, you'll notice that John went behind. So, like, if, if Booty's going this way, John SDI'd all the way down to heal, forcing Booty to actually then turn around up here to then do it this way, which makes it so you don't die because you don't go to that corner. Anything to make those ladder combos harder exactly. for Meta Knight to pull off is a win, and that's good SDI, and I think that's what we saw. Is, but also good adaptation to be able to pivot into doing the move that's going to take him out in the end. Yeah. And but we'll have to see. John automatically went to ledge. That is something that I would have expected. We saw a lot of ladders from Booty, but the thing about Meta Knight, the general counterplay is just go to ledge. He can't bridge you as well outside of like certain percents when you get hit by dash attack at ledge. And normally I would expect John to be playing at ledge. So right. the fact that we saw that many ladders, that many bridges, kind of shocking. I agree. And, you know, I think we're seeing. Great adaptations from both players here. I think John started off really strong with a good lead on this stock, and you know, taking Meta Knight down is no easy feat. Yeah, and it's especially because it's so hard. John gets a lot of mileage off of like kind of ledge trapping you. Meta Knight just goes above you, teleports the stage, and goes back to normal. Right. Back heal does twenty one percent with deep breathing. Well, I was surprised about that detail that just killed uh, in that last dog. Yeah. How strong from center stage, too. Exactly. And, like, oh, good stage spike. Oh, oh, my God. Trying to get... I don't think that would have killed, but it would have been close. You know, if she had just, like, extended her fingers on that up smash, she would have got him. It's like, ah. You know, you got to keep your hands wide, get those hand stretches in. And how many yoga classes does she need to take before she understands that? <laughs> oh, real? S... I don't think that was technically an SD, but it, it was it was a forced SD. Quasi, quasi. Yeah, a real quasi SD from John. You don't see him dying off stage much at all. Uh, but Booty playing with abandon right now. He yep. wants his, his first bracket back in a while. And a win over John. You can beat John, you can beat almost anyone. Yeah, he's, you can see him kind of fishing for that dash attack. A great confirm into all of Meta Knight's kit. Uh, yeah. It, honestly, John might have put himself back in percent to get hit by a ladder with that much rage, but now there's no more rage. Yeah, it's a wonderful catch of the dimensional cape. Uh, 
Yeah, using the reverse head of the up tilt, which I've been seeing John go for a lot because it kills off the top, yep. which is something that is very good to have. Like an ability, we fit doesn't really have it all, but it doesn't come off the top other than that F smash, up smash, I should say. Yeah. And so having the opportunity to do that is huge. Great call out with that F smash. Calling out, I think that was soccer ball from ledge, right? Absolutely. And Meta Knight's S smash, one of those smashes in the game that you can really just throw out in neutral because, you know, it just, you're, you're back in the game no matter if it hits or if it misses. Yeah. As long as you can get it out, you're good. It's yep. so incredibly safe. And this is getting so scary. This is not the position that you want to be in if you're John. Oh, here we we might die here. Great, Great DI. DI. But now he's out of percent of getting killed. So, and Booty is at some. It, this is a scary percent. We saw him die to an F smash at this percent. Yep. We saw him die to almost an um, up to up smash at this percent. Nail up smash at this percent. And so you can see he already is playing a little bit more scared. Not necessarily afraid, but cautious. Yeah, and deep breathing has timed out here, so John will have to take some time to get that back up. And that's, you know, right before that ladder combo, it's even. They're back even again on percent. And Booty, you can see, going for any, all of the tricks of the book, he does not want to go to Game 3. Absolutely not. Oh! And that's sent to Game 3 with the get deep breathing back right after. I went, it's off for 12 seconds. Right. Or something to that effect. Gets it back up, gets that dash back after on the dimensional cape. And that's something the Booty's going to have to start watching out for in this next game. He's lost most of his stocks that he's lost to these dimensional capes coming in, getting caught by a move. Right. Oh, well, I'm a Mewtwo player, and I understand that if a player is able to download one of your movement options, like aka, a teleport, like a teleport or a dimensional cape, it's no good for you. And it takes a couple tries before you realize, oh, they have downloaded me, and they know where I'm going to pop out of this and be vulnerable. And I think that's what we just saw in two of those stocks, actually, in the previous game. Exactly. And John is not only just cashing out, he's killing. Yep. So it's like, a, it's not a, oh, you can't do this anymore. It's, you don't get a chance yep. to do this again. You're, it's a one and done. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my game. god. That's a fantastic edge guard yes. and a lot of percent. This is this is very scary for John. You do not want to be down against Meta Knight nope. where you have to start approaching and actually doing things that are going to put you in a position where you can get that dash attack hit. Yep. But he's bringing this back very, very consistently right now. He said, I, I died once. Well, you won't see that happen again for a while, hopefully. Right? 120% almost unanswered. And, you know, at, at that percent with a deep breathing active, Meta Knight is vulnerable to being taken out by just a single move. Once again, we see the dimensional cape being punished by John with the F tilt, which is quick enough, I believe, to catch that and it reliably. Lingers. It's quick enough. It's strong. It has so much knockback when it has that deep breathing upgrade. And John is running away with this. Clapping back with 80%, even after being down a full stock after that early dot. Uh, He's death. only taken 28%. That's insane. Maybe, maybe a little bit more considering, you know, he sealed a lot of it off. Yep. But great footstool option there. Something that you're not seeing a lot of people do, but John loves to use. Being so used to and being so accustomed to being off stage, he'll use that footstool a lot to kind of get high, reset neutral willing to just bet that his neutral is better than yours. And it's so active, and even with that early game, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't even like it happened. Right. It's, it's great to have a player utilizing footstools. It's one of those mechanics I don't feel like a lot of players even think about in their games. Yeah. And I think those who do can make great use of it as a tool. Yeah. I feel like when people do think about footstool, they're like, go off stage, footstool, mount of his up, B, I win now. Right. But it's like, Using that phantom footstool as a cool response just to, you know, get back to stage, reset neutral. That's a good option. Yeah. As somebody who plays a character with a very bad recovery, like, oh, yes. you've got to do that sometimes. You've got to be used to that, or otherwise, you might just die sometimes. Wow. Stage That's true. Spike into F smash. That's, That's true. That's a true combo? Yeah. <sighs> if you don't tech that, I'll reverse that fail. Just F smash. I really think we Fit Trainer should try a bag of Cool Ranch Doritos because uh, the things that she's able to do, having uh, as much as lettuceism as she does, is uh, 
Has she tried a soft pretzel with like beer cheese? I don't think so. I don't think that would be true if she had, you know. If we fit Trado a drink like two Bud Lights, I don't think she'd be able to do this. And we know that Meta Knight is just, you know, downing whiskey at night. He's yeah. just like, I have had it with Kirby. Straight I need a vodka. Drink. Yeah, like, he's got a study. He reads like literature. And it's not even like good whiskey. He's like drinking like some well whiskey, oh, like Evan going Williams. to the ball around the corner. Absolutely. Evan Williams. If he's feeling super fancy, he'll get a bottle of Mako's Malk and it's like drink it straight. Great, yeah. But like nothing, we're not talking any like fancy, no black labels. Whoa. Absolutely not. I think he's got a decanter in the shape of Waddle D, and he's like, 